Many say that on St. Patrick's Day, everyone is Irish. Now, it may just be that everyone enjoys the celebrations, but for us at Curley, there may be another reason. Our namesake, Michael J. Curley, was born in Ireland, and after his education in Ireland and Rome and his 1904 ordination, he went to Florida as a missionary priest. Ten years later, at age 35, he became Bishop of St. Augustine, Florida, then the only diocese in the state. Seven years later, after the death of Cardinal Gibbons in Baltimore, Curley came to Baltimore, historians say somewhat to a surprise, where he served as Archbishop for 26 years until his death in 1947. Curley is remembered for his outspokenness, for his simple lifestyle, for his dedication to Catholic education. He never got to build the Archdiocesan high schools as he had hoped, and so this first one was named for him. Today, there is curly memorabilia throughout the building, a salute to a selfless individual, a bold missionary, and a good priest and bishop. The richness of faith and vocations in Ireland over so many decades has had a profound influence on the church in America and in other lands as well, as missionary priests, sisters, and brothers served parishes, schools, and institutions. America is no longer a mission land, yet there is again a turn to other countries for the help of clergy and religious. What has happened? Well, as a possible answer, let us remember the missionaries like St. Patrick and Archbishop Curley, and in this season of Lent as well, reflect upon the gift of faith we have received and think about how we are living it and sharing it and helping succeeding generations to know the value of being a disciple of the Lord. Faith is a gift, and when we share that gift, we never lose what we have received, but in fact, it increases. Thank you for helping Curly to be a school where the faith is taught and celebrated. And happy St. Patrick's Day. This is Father Donald at Archbishop Curley High School in Baltimore, wishing you as always the Lord's gift of peace.